Hey guys, it's the Plum Dot here and welcome back to my channel for part number two of the Carriage House. Now I know I said that part two was coming early next week, but depending on when you're watching this, hey, it very well could be early next week. Now I want to put this out there straight away. Beyond what you're seeing in the kitchen with the cabinet color, I did not recolor anything on camera and let me tell you why besides me being an indecisive sloth well actually that's the main reason i'm an indecisive sloth and the recoloring of this two bedroom two bathroom cottage took me over seven hours to do now i will say that it's probably because i was looking at pinterest a lot changing my mind because of what i was finding on pinterest like i have full-blown become a pinterest whore and i'm not even sorry about it. But then the other thing that made it really slow is that I kept finding and downloading CC to put in this house. So I will say that the carriage house is very, very CC heavy. And I just want to give three cheers for the CC makers in the community because without them, we would be stuck with EA stuff and nobody wants that in their houses, right? All the time. So yes, very, very CC heavy, but I love how it turned out. And so in the first part I asked you guys who or what type of sims you guys could imagine living in the carriage house and you guys had some really really good ideas so I kind of took most of them and melded them together we had people that were saying they could imagine a writer a painter somebody who enjoys the outdoors somebody who loves to garden grandparents and their grandkids and so like I said kind of took it all melded together and so the design style that I went with if you could even call it a design style is retro chic and that to me is like the melding of shabby chic and retro so you're gonna see a lot of retro painting paintings throughout the carriage house and a lot of the woods are going to be distressed which to me says shabby chic so I hope you guys don't mind that I've molded those two styles together and just came up with this but here we are in the kitchen which is where I start most of my builds because I love my food. I am a big old foodie and it just makes the most sense to start in the kitchen because who doesn't like to hang out in the kitchen and eat? <laughs> I know I do. So I was trying to figure out what to put behind the stove and I couldn't figure it out to save my life because everything was looking really, really awkward. And I figured out that it was because of those upper cabinets that I have. And because they're on the short wall, putting anything on the long wall just made it look really awkward and unbalanced. So I left it with those open shelves and that is pretty much all you're gonna see on in the kitchen. There is a little bit of clutter. Uh, you'll see that in the screenshots, but here here we are, we have moved on to the living room and I just love this little sort of one tile fireplace that I put in there. It is by a creator called Mila and she is one of my favorite CC creators. She has a Tumblr blog and also a website and I highly recommend you guys check her out if you are ever looking for CC. She has got it all. She is amazing. So yes, definitely check out Mila's, I think it's Mila's creative blog that it's called on Tumblr. So, so very very good. Um, so I'm just laying out the front room here and you can see that it kind of, you step down into the front room from the little entryway uh, because I put in a platform and it all does work out. I have fully play tested and upgraded this place. So everything you are seeing is basically how it stays. There are some bits and pieces throughout the carriage house that I did have to change due to routing issues with my Sims waving their arms, stamping their feet. But for the most part, this is the layout and I really like how it turned out. It's very sort of comfy and cozy. Now, the color scheme that I went for when I finally did get around to recoloring this um, was very light, bright, and airy. So my thoughts, um, what you're gonna see when we get into the living room in the screenshots is that it's kind of this white brick, um, but what it kind of reminded me of is maybe if you had stripped back the walls, those were the original, original walls in this cottage, and they kind of like whitewashed over them with some painting um so you'll see what i mean but yes everything is very light bright 
and it just works out really well. I really love this color scheme that I went for. So there's gonna be like a lot of blues, a lot of greens, a lot of yellows, some pinks, but it's all going to be very pastel-y. So I'm just moving on to the little entryway and it's only a three by three space. Um, so I put in this little, it's not a credenza, I don't know what you would call that, this little shelving unit with the little rotillery, it's not a rotillery because that's food, I think I'm hungry, uh, rotary phone. Um, and then, cluttered it up just a little bit but I didn't go too buck wild on the clutter there and then I'm back to the area behind the TV I thought I would switch it out but no I went back with that massive painting which I love now you're going to notice that there's going to be a lot of pottery uh, not pottery a lot of plants a lot of flowers throughout this um, house because I really wanted to bring the outdoors inside that was kind of my aim when I was decorating so there are flowers everywhere and um, there's actual flowers there there's flower, floral, pla <laughs> rewind. There's floral. Pa <laughs> there are floral patterns. There are floral paintings, and there are floral posters. But then mixed in with that, you're gonna find some retro paintings and posters throughout as well. Hence why I call it retro chic. So I'm just trying to find a mirror to put in the little entryway. And then I believe we are going to move on to the sunroom. And the sunroom has to be one of my favorite rooms in this little house because of the floor to ceiling windows that I've gotten there. And it gives you a really good view to the backyard. And then there's also a door so you can get out onto the deck. And I didn't show this in the very first part but on that little deck and you'll see this in the screenshots there is a fireplace a big round table and a barbecue so it is a nice little hangout spot for your sims to just chill and relax if they want to sit out in a very nice evening out on the deck in the patio they can do so this little sunroom is almost finished I've got the traditional piano which I really really wished that there was a traditional piano in the game with EA content but alas we must rely on CC creators and that is from mod the sims and I just love that piano if I can find a use for it at any of my homes I try to put it in there because it's just so cute so this is the guest bathroom I guess you would call it and I'm just calling it the guest bathroom because it doesn't actually connect to the bathroom that's next to it and um, it's just off of the hallway and there's not really much to say about it it's just a bathroom you go in there you do your business you brush your teeth you wash your hands and take a shower if you like uh, but the one thing I do really like about this bathroom is that the bathtub is on a platform now I didn't take any pictures of it because it's an awkward space but you should be able to see it in the overheads I did have to change the layout of this little bathtub area because when my sim was playtesting it they couldn't upgrade it as it stands and they couldn't take a bath in it they actually went into the sort of the entrance platform to try to fill up the bathtub and then they waved their little arms stamped their feet and made these weird noises and I was like okay I have to figure this out so the only thing that really stays from this little layout lay, layout is of course the bathtub the little towel um the towel bench that i have there and then the flowers and then i have to get rid of everything else but i do really like how it looks at the end so i'm really happy with it and then something that i don't normally do is i don't normally put wall lights in my bathrooms um, and i found these really cool wall lights and I have no idea where they came from I think they came from the store now I will say this this build is very CC heavy and it is also full of store content and it was just because I was grabbing everything I wasn't paying attention where it came from and um, yeah it's a big problem of mine to use a lot of store content but I am really really going to try one day um, I don't know when so don't hold me to it but I really do want to try to do like a CC free no store content build it'll probably be teeny tiny maybe even a starter but that would be hard for me as well um but i do want to try i do kind of want to push myself to actually do that so let me know down below in the comments if that is something that you would like to see me try to attempt um not using cc not using store content i may actually die but you know it could be a very fun challenge so here we are in the bedroom and like i said i would say this is more of a guest bedroom just because it's not connected to the bathroom the upstairs bedroom is connected to a bathroom so I would call that more of a master so we've got a dresser we've got a floor length 
mirror and then at the end of the bed I did put a coffee table now in the screenshots you're going to see that that changes because like I said I went on a little bit of a CC binge and I found these super cute ottomans that were covered in floral prints and I just had to put it at the end of the bed just to keep with the whole floral motif that I was going for the whole bringing the outdoors inside um for the carriage house so I am cluttering this up but all of this clutter goes away in the screenshots it is a no longer there and one of the last things that I'm going to do in this bedroom is I'm going to make a little collage now I started out using EA stuff and I was trying to find all of the sort of floral outdoorsy type of things but then I was like no nah, I think I've got some CC that would look a little bit better so I ended up making this really cool or I think it's cool collage with some CC that I downloaded again I believe it's from Mila um, and she had these paintings that were all different sizes and they had so many different swatches so I end up going with about seven paintings to make Make this collage and it's the second painting here that I'm playing with right now the swatches and then three smaller paintings in the middle of these four that I've laid out here and I tried to find the ones that were most nature like or the most sort of outdoorsy so we've got some flowers there and we've got some I think that's some cactus there um, and then yeah I just put those in there and I believe I did change the three in the middle so they are all different and then the last thing I'm gonna throw a chair in the corner and then we are going to move upstairs to the upstairs bedroom which I really love the upstairs of the carriage house you can see how the walls are a little bit warped and that's because I put in a vaulted ceiling now it's not a true vault where you've got like the triangular vault it's more of a square vault if that's a thing but it looks really cool and you're gonna see at the end of the video before we get to the screenshots I've put sort of a fly through in it's not the best fly through like I've never done a fly through before so please don't make fun of me um but it looks really cool you'll be able to see that the ceiling is a completely different height than the downstairs bit and it just gives it a little bit of uniqueness and I really really like that about the upstairs so the bedroom is almost complete and then we are going to move on to the bathroom before we get to the upstairs landing um so I'm just cluttering up this little ladder shelf and I believe that is by living dead girl on tsr and then we've got the mila painting with the deer and i do switch that out for a different swatch i can't remember what swatch i end up going for in the end but of course you'll be able to check that out in the screenshots once we get there and this is the bedroom i'm going to put some a rug down and then I'm going to put some curtains which I rarely ever do curtains on camera because they're always an afterthought but I'm pretty sure in most of the spaces where it counts there are curtains which go me I never do that so I did want to put a bathtub in here but then I realized that there wasn't enough space so there is one sink one shower and a toilet so again you do your business you go away and that is that mrs. that's that so this is the sort of master bathroom it is definitely smaller than the downstairs bathroom but I think that is okay and then we are going to move on to the upstairs landing which like I say is my favorite spot so a lot of you guys did say you wanted to see a painter in here you could see a painter living in the cottage in the carriage house so I put in an easel just in front of the this little painting or these what are they Shel shelving units I built a little shelving unit and I put an easel in front of that now I've just pulled out this day bed and that is going to go at the top of the landing so there is another space for sims to be able to sleep and hang out but I kind of thought it was cool to put at the top of the landing like if somebody wanted to just chill out while somebody was painting or listening to music or if they wanted to sit on the bed and read they definitely could do that and yeah I think it's really cool but it doubles as another place for a sim to sleep so this this carriage house would actually fit probably five sims to sleep in and i think you know for the size of it that is pretty darn good but i think that is all that i have to say i think i'm going to love you and leave you guys with some music i will have a download link up for this as soon as I go and make a CC list for this I'm gonna do it as soon as I finish this voiceover and then oh also somebody on Twitter asked if I could put up 
unfurnished versions of some of the houses that I built. So I may include an unfurnished version of this house as well as the coach house, which is what the carriage house is based off of. But if you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys aren't already subscribed and you like what you see, why don't you go ahead and hit that button. Don't be a plum stranger now, guys. Bye.